Okay, so we'll talk about two scenes. First one from Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway, which is actually the setup scene where you understand what exactly is going on and who are these people. Setup scenes are the hardest scenes to keep uh, audiences engaged with because sometimes the setups are written uh, in a way that a lot is happening, you know. So, how do you choose what exactly to say and what not to say because what you don't say is equally important. There were a lot of elements which I think we removed so that the focus of the screen just, uh, focus of the scene just becomes about what exactly is going on. You see that she is, you know, she hasn't slept a wink at night and there's a doorbell. Shubh, Shubh, do you want to put the bag in the bag? Yes. Here. Yes. The main point of the scene was that there are these two people who are observing everything and the way it was shot was it should come in one sweeping motion which is what happens when you see these two girls sitting on the sofa. So they've been seeing everything that was happening and then the husband comes down. I mean, there were a lot of elements which I think we removed so that the focus of the scene just becomes about what exactly is going on. What I mean is that there is a lot of exposition sometimes mm -hmm. in writing, in the setup scenes, which is not always very engaging. So how do you bring something out by pruning the other things? So you get the basic elements of the scene here that the husband is not really helpful in the you know, in, in the kitchen or in the taking care of the kids part and also the whole relationship between the mother and the kids because you don't really see it anywhere else in the film. So just this small thing that, oh, do you want the bhatu in the dabba? Which is what eventually also helps as a story peg because that's how she finds him later. So there were a few elements that were really important. One was that she's the one who's doing everything about the house. She's also the one who's making tea. She's the one who has to get up in the night if the child cries. So just removing the husband from the first part of the scene really helps the story and the character. And then you realize in the pan that these two have been witnessing everything and Hopefully, you get a sense that this is very normal in this household. That these two people always come and sit here and observe them while the kids are crying and the breakfast is going on. And you also get a sense of the relationships between the people, like the husband and wife. Devika, gas station. The husband says that, you know, I will eat something on the way and she's saying, no, I'll make it. And these people are making notes. So you get a sense of, oh, something is happening. They're making notes of something, but it slowly reveals itself, which is what the design of the film is. Do you think that uh, what really helps uh, sell one part of the scene is the warmth that Deepika is showing to the two of them? Yes. The warmth uh, from uh, Debika to these uh, Sia and Matilda and also the fact that they're very comfortable. They're eating in their home. She's very comfortable telling him, uh, telling them that, uh, you know, this is the tree that we have made for our kid. That is a tree of life. Uh -huh. Shub school project, they told to make tree of life. We made huh? rice crop. No, Shub? We focused on keeping the elements that recur in the film and that come back in the film and removed everything else. So the few elements that we wanted should be there, like uh, the feeding with the hands, the box with the rice, 
the husband and wife relationship and the warmth that Devika shows towards these two girls, showing that it's become common now for these two to come here and hang out in the house. See ya, Matilda. Come, come. Today, luchi alu. Breakfast. Oh. Come, come, quick. And also small things like when he says, oh, eat with, why don't you feed with a spoon? But he himself cannot feed. So, you know, we just wanted these things to be there, by the way. These few elements that we kind of narrowed down on, okay, that these are the things that we really want. We want the setup to be there. We want it to be novel and we want it to be very clear because the story starts soon after. So yeah, that's the fun of editing. You can do anything. Cut! Cut! <laughs> Brilliant, guys. Thank you so much.